Question two. My second question is, is it okay if I'm eating pork? Well, if you're not a Muslim, then it's okay. <laughs> if you are, <laughs> go back to your prophet. <laughs> My beloved, Christianity doesn't have this is good and this is bad. This is okay and this is not okay. Everything is good because everything came from the good God, including the pig. Who created the pig? God. Well, this good God, how can he create something that is not good? Impossible. But when you read in the Old Testament, the third book in Torah, Leviticus chapter 11, the Lord God warned the Israelite nation of what to eat and what not to eat from as far as animals are concerned. So he was referring about the pig, one of the animals that you cannot eat its meat. Why? Because the Lord God in Leviticus 11 says, any animal that has its hoof not split, if it's one piece, the hoof, the bottom of the, of the foot, if the hoof is one piece, you do not eat from that animal. If the hoof of that animal is split, you can eat that animal. It is okay. The pig, the hoof of it is one piece. But I've, I've mentioned this so many times, I'll mention it again. My beloved, pay attention. The Lord God was not talking about animals. The Holy Bible, both Old and New Testament, is one book that is the salvific book of God to the humanity. God is sending his salvational message to the human race. So when you ever, whenever you approach the Holy Bible, approach it as the salvific book of God. It is not about um, animals, geography, whatever. It is spiritual salvific plan of God to the human race. So when God spoke about animals, spoke about trees, spoke about the birds, he was sending a profound spiritual message for our own salvation and redemption. Do not eat from the pig because the hoof is not split. It's one piece. The word eating here means do not mix. When you want to explain something to a kindergarten child, you cannot talk to a kindergarten child like you talk to an adult, a mature person. When you, whenever you speak to little kids, you need to use colors, pictures, items. You need to show them. Why? Because the brain is not mature enough to fathom what you say at a very mature level. You need to go down to their level. So when you come to a kindergarten child, you say, here is an apple and here is another apple. How many now? Two apples. Okay. When the child looks at things and colors, it gets printed. They'll never forget. God's wisdom will always look at us as kindergarten level children, even if I am the Pope. Any wisdom placed next to God's wisdom, it's nothing. God's wisdom is infinite. What wisdom can withstand this infinite being and his infinite wisdom? No one. So when God is talking, he's talking to us as if we are in at a kindergarten level. So he's going to come to me and say, Marmari, come here. Do you see the pig? Yes, Lord. Okay, I, I'm going to teach you a lesson with, through this pig. Okay. Now, do not eat, meaning do not mix. The hoof is one. The human being is made out of two main components. There is the body and there is the spirit. These are the two main components that make up the human being. But what tied them together 
is something called the soul, S-O-U-L. So God created the soul to tie the spirit to the body. But the main components of the human is the body and the spirit. The Lord God is saying, do not mix. Eating meaning mix. Because when you eat something, what happens to that something you just ate? It got mixed in you. True or not? So eating here meaning mixing. Do not mix with someone whose hoof is one piece. In other words, body and spirit are one. God saying, do not befriend such people that you cannot differentiate between their body and their spirit. What does that mean? There are some people, if they sit with someone like me, they'll be spiritual. There is no one else but them. But when they sit with someone in a club, they'll be like Satan, there is no tomorrow. You cannot be with Christ and with Satan at the same time. You cannot drink the wine that, God, that Christ has given you, which is his body. And you cannot drink the, drink the wine of drunkenness which Satan gives you. You cannot come to the church and to the club. You cannot be in the light and in the darkness. You cannot, you know, be everywhere. You need to decide either the light or the darkness either the church or the club, either Christ or Satan. The one who is one piece, meaning he is for all. He is for the church and for the club. He is for Christ and for Satan. He is for heaven and for the world. The Lord says, if you mix with such people, they will veer you off my path. You'll end up nothing. Neither this nor that. A split hoof meaning you can tell if this person is spiritual or if this person is worldly. You can tell when it's split. You sit with someone for a couple of minutes, the moment they start talking, you can say, oh, this guy never goes to church. Straight away, you can tell if it's split. It is okay to have a friendship with such people when you're able to differentiate between the two. Because maybe if somebody is in the world, if you befriend them, hopefully you can pull them back and bring them to Christ. But if someone is spiritual, definitely befriend them because you need such friends that will take you to the Lord Jesus, not to Satan. The pig, my beloveds, when, when its eyes are staring at the, at the ground, and the pig loves filth, swims in filth. If you give a pig a bath, it will go nutcase. It will go crazy. A pig cannot stand cleanliness. The pig must be always filthy. The moment you wash them clean, they go crazy. They love swimming in filth. And as long as their eyes are seeing the filth, the mouth never shuts up. Oink, 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 all the time. You know how they used to steal pigs in the good old days? Before the tranquilizers came on board? They used to time it. They would run as fast as possible to the pig. And the first thing they would do to the pig is turn it on its back. The moment the eyes of the pig sees the sky, heaven, it shuts up. You bash it, you kick it, you punch it, you, sh you shred it to pieces. It will not make one whisper, one sound. As long as the eyes see heaven. The moment the eyes see the filth, never shuts up. There are people, when, you, when they talk about the world, they never, shut up, they never shut up. The moment you speak about Jesus, sitting in the midst of them, the moment you bring Jesus into the topic, everybody goes quiet. Those who go quiet, don't mix with them. Because they're not interested in Jesus. So why are you befriending people that are not interested in your Lord? Yes? So it's got nothing to do with the pig. The Jewish people got it wrong. 
and they taught it wrongly to Muhammad. That's the truth. The truth is painful, but that's the truth. When you receive Jesus Christ, the Lord elevates you way, way above and beyond this kindergarten level. I mean, we start at kindergarten level, but we can't sleep there. We need to progress, correct? We need to one day graduate from uni, hopefully. <laughs> so I can't stay at a kindergarten level. But the Lord, He has started teaching us from a kindergarten level. So it's not about the pig. It's about the behavior that is in the pig, which is similar in humans. Those people who love the filth, don't mix with them. Those people, once they, they speak about heaven, they go quiet. Don't mix with them. It's not about the pig, my beloved. The Lord God was teaching a profound message through animals because all of us are little children compared to His infinite wisdom. Look, it's okay to eat pork, but not too much. At the end of the day, uh, it could cause uh, high cholesterol in you, like it's very oily. So don't eat too much. Eat in uh, moderation. It should be okay. And uh, do test bloods every now and then. 